now. Switching gears, seven pieces recovered from the RMS Titanic wreck are set to be permanently retired at the end of the day. Get up close and personal with these rare finds inside the Luxor before the sun sets. Here with more is artifact specialist Virginia. Good morning and welcome to the show. Hello, Good Virginia. How Thank are you for having me. You're so welcome. So we know that seven rare artifacts are going to be retired at the end of the day. So cool. You have yes. till 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> However, the exhibit remains open. So for those who, has, who haven't seen it, tell us about the exhibit. Uh, the exhibit is amazing. Um, we have over 355 artifacts from the actual wreck site of Titanic including a 15-ton piece of Titanic. And we also have seven rare artifacts mm. that are getting ready to go into preservation storage because they are so delicate and fragile that they need to go back into storage yes. for further preservation so future generations can actually enjoy it in maybe five to ten years. And appreciate them, right? Yes. We have some pictures right now. We want to go through those seven artifacts one by one. Let's start mm -hmm. with the first one. Pop it up. What is this? That is a receipt for a canary in a cage. What? The, I've done Titanic oh. stuff for 10 Whoa. years, and I never knew that there was a canary aboard Titanic. Really? Until we got saw the receipt. this artifact. <laughs> exactly. Really? Now, I see a 50 uh, on there. Yeah, that is uh, 50 pounds this lady paid to transport this wow. um, bird from Cherbourg, France, uh -huh. or Southampton, England to Cherbourg, France. So the bird didn't make the final journey, no. so the bird survived. The bird survived <laughs> the journey. That was How a lucky bird. That? Seriously. Um, oh, yeah, crazy. and she was a third class person, and 50 pounds back then was quite a bit. That, the mm. bird must have meant a lot to her. And we have another artifact yes. that yes. Was, uh, belonged to Miss Marion Meanwell. Okay. She's the one that uh, actually transported the bird for a friend, mm -hmm. and she has an alligator bag in the exhibit what? third class alligator bag 50 pounds yeah. it's almost as much as an actual passenger on titanic so i think uh, third bag. class penny pincher yeah the like penny wow. pincher exactly we just now popped we up an image of the declaration yes. correct let's what go ahead and do that? that one more time virginia yeah the declaration of intention this belonged to a second class uh, passenger his name is franz polbaum okay and what's remarkable about this is it's legible you can yeah. see where he was 27 years old. He was a machinist. He was 148 pounds, brown hair, mm -hmm. brown eyes. And on the bottom, it says, um, I swear that I am not a polygamist or yeah. I'm a believer in polygamy or I am not an anarchist, so help me God. Signature. Wow. wow. Yeah, when seeing these artifacts and studying them, uh, and becoming an expert behind them, you really get to know the people and you get to understand yeah. that time and yeah. that era. That's incredible. We have some gloves we want to pop up. Who do these belong to? They don't know who the gloves belong to, yes. but it had to be a wow. first class gentleman. They wore those to dinner. And what's oh, remarkable the about these is the that days. they are still clipped. So they were never worn on Titanic. Oh, he never wow. wore them. But look, that one's missing, missing the, missing the pointer finger. finger. Oh, wow. This mm -hmm. is really fascinating. Yeah. And, you know, I know you know so many of the stories of, yeah. of, the, of the passengers themselves. What's it like um, when you lead people through the exhibit and you tell them, share with them the personal stories? Even as long as I've been doing it, I still get emotional about some of the stories. Oh. When you have a Swedish mother and you see a mm. woman with her... Uh, boarding pass. Her name is Alma Paulson, and you know that her and her four children didn't survive. Mm. And her story is just mm. unbelievable because she saw her youngest child swept back into the ocean. Mm. And then <gasps> she has her three children over here that she has to, that's a decision no mother should ever have to make no. in her entire life. Yeah. I tell you, I'm getting this feeling I got when I did visit the exhibit. It's just this kind of haunted feeling in my stomach. It's mm -hmm. just the story. Yeah. But it's also really cool as well. I remember going there and taping a segment there and you guys um, have the iceberg, right? There's mm -hmm. the, and you get to actually feel what, what an iceberg would have been like. Mm. It takes you through the history. Mm -hmm. It's really chilly in that room, obviously, and the grand staircase is amazing. Yes, it is. To walk up on it. Do, do viewers, I mean, what, when people go and they tour, what is the, the feeling that you find from them? that they are just in awe that all of this is it's all a piece of history i mean it's people's memories it's their legacy um it's it, it even overwhelms me sometimes yeah. 
And uh, the question I get asked most by people, do you have your favorite? <laughs> do you have your piece. favorite? Uh -huh. Yeah, your favorite Artifact, piece, or do yeah. you have your favorite passenger? And do you? I do. Sure. Uh, I that? do. His name is Norris Williams II. Um, he was a tennis player on Titanic, and I hold his story very near and dear to me. And uh, um, his legs were in the water for a very, very long time. Mm. And uh, when he got on the Carpathia, the rescue ship, the doctor told him uh. he was going to have to amputate his legs. And he said, you do not have permission to mm. take my legs. I have <sighs> plans for these legs. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make a very long story short, he regained complete usage of wow. his legs. In 1924, he went to the Olympics and he won a gold medal in doubles and singles tennis. <gasps> he went on to win the U.S. Open, Wimbledon, any other tennis championship. And uh, he is also um, in the Tennis Hall of Fame. That's it just because goes he made that decision. Like, These are my legs. Yes. You can't just chop It just them goes off. to show the will inside of someone yeah. is so strong. Yeah. But unfortunately, he did see his father die. He saw him hit by a smokestack. So my goodness. Maybe the will was well, right there for him. I'm, I'm glad to hear a victory that. story yes. out of that whole yes, yes whole situation. Now, Thank where you. can people uh, view the exhibit and for how long today? At the Luxor. Um, and. Uh, we have the information, yeah. yeah. Premier Exhibit Exhibitions, rather, dot com. There we go. Inside Luxor Hotel and Casino. Yeah. Thank you That's so right. much for being here, Virginia. Thank you, Virginia. Thanks for having yeah. me. Don't miss your last chance to view these seven one-of-a-kind memories from the Titanic at the Luxor Hotel and Casino. These pieces from today will be retired at the end of the day. For more information, including tickets, visit the website or call the number on your screen. They're open from 10 until 10 p.m. There you go. You got 12 hours, so get on it.